have you just bought a new gun? And are you wondering why it's so stiff? In this video, we are going to tell you why a new gun is so stiff from the factory. Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we're gonna to go through what you expect a new gun to feel like when you open and shut that gun and why is it so stiff. So I've got three different guns here. I've got two Browning grade ones and I've got an old Lamba that's probably 30, 40 years old. Because a lot of people have said, oh, my gun's really stiff and it never loosens up. The reason why manufacturers make a gun tight is so when you shoot that gun and it shoots loose, it doesn't go really, really loose. And you should be, really, when you buy a new gun, it should take you between two and 3,000 cartridges to loosen that gun up before you absolutely hammer it. Just like when you buy a new car, you have to go through a certain amount of miles before you hammer the car. And it just, it eases everything in nice and slowly before you absolutely hammer that car. And it's the same thing about a gun. So, got this new gun, and I open it, and it's really stiff. I've got a second hand of the same gun, and it's been used a fair bit, and I open it, and it opens itself. I've got a really old Lamba, and that, but that has really had a fair few shells put for it and gone through. And that is what you look at and how you realise how old a gun is. If you get your new gun and it's really stiff, you can loosen it up. So you can get a proper gunsmith to actually loosen it up. The problem is, then you go and shoot it and the gun is even more looser than what it should be. So try and put up with it and let the gun do it on its own, its own workings because then it will loosen up to what it should be. All you've got to do is go to any shooting school that uses sort of Bretters, Brownings, that sort of thing. Sometimes they have a gun that's only a year old and it literally falls open like that. And that is generally because that gun is used every day. I would also think about a lot of people, they buy a new gun, some people come into shooting schools or go into gun shops and they bought their new gun and they've never serviced it. Really, you should be servicing a gun once a year. If you use it that amount, you should be servicing it twice a year. And that is so, all the workings in the gun, you've got the top lever spring, which can easily go. So if you've used it a hell of a lot, that top lever spring could go when you're out shooting. So you think about servicing the car once a year, just think about servicing that gun once a year. The more you look after it, the better. If you take the gun off, generally they will be stiff. Sometimes if you take a gun apart and you take the fore end off, the barrels wobble on the action. That's because it hasn't been serviced that much or hasn't been serviced for regularly. So think to yourself, look after my gun. You brought a new gun, you've worn it in, even if you only shoot three or 4,000 cartridges or 2,000 cartridges a year, just look after it and go and service it that once a year. So it gives you an idea. I'd like to see if anyone has bought a new gun and they really find it stiff. Please comment below. We will do our utmost to help you and point you in the right direction of what to do. But that is what happens when you buy a new gun. It goes through that loosened stage. So if I push the top lever across, it only opens to there, or that doesn't even open at all. And that is what a new gun should be. A year old gun that's been used a fair bit opens fairly easily. 
a gun that's probably 30, 40, 30, 40 years old, bounces down here. And that's because the hinge pin and everything is being worked a lot. I mean, this is a 200 pound gun, 250 pound gun. So you probably wouldn't want to spend an absolute fortune tightening it up. But on a Browning or a Bretta, you might want to spend a little bit more money looking after it and tighten it up. Some people, when they put the gun in for a service, they actually say to the gunsmith, can you not really tighten it up? Because a lot of people don't actually like that stiffness. Some people do. It's a personal preference thing. So now I'm just going to shoot a few with the old gun and with the second hand one. And then hopefully that gives you an idea of what you expect to a new gun when you buy a new gun. So I'm going to use my Fiocchi F Blues. So I'm going to shoot five pairs with each gun. Just watch what happens when I open and shut the gun. Pull. So the one thing, you don't need to pull it on the full end to get it open. It just falls open. So it's easy when you want to catch the cartridges. When they do loosen up, they are a lot easier to catch the cartridges. Pull. There you go. Pull. So the other thing is when you're actually teaching somebody, so if there's an instructor watching this, when you're teaching somebody on a new gun, it's actually not very good teaching somebody with a new gun because they're so stiff, you can't get the gun open. So it makes it really hard to handle that gun. So think about maybe when you're actually teaching somebody, get yourself a gun that's slightly more worn in or get the manufacturer to say, can you just loosen it up? It's the only time I would loosen a gun up is if I was using it for teaching and I wanted it loose quickly. But if you're buying a gun for you to shoot, you can put up with it for the first couple of thousand shells. If I use a cheaper gun, pull. Easy to open. Pull. Pull. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not going to fall apart. So you can't go into a shop saying, oh, that gun's had loads and loads of shells through it doesn't mean it's had loads of shells to it. It just means some guns loosen and it's a different way. If you look at the way something like this is a Lamba is hinged, it's a different way of hinging. Whereas if you look at the way a Browning is, a Browning you won't have that little bit of lag at the end of it because it's on the hinge pin. It's pretty solid because it is on that lug there. So this is the different ways of making a gun. So, and it really frustrates some people when they come into the shop or they come into a shop and they look at a gun that's 250 pounds and they say, oh, that's had a, sh that's had a load of shells through it. Any, any Italian gun will have that little bit of a lug because it's the way, it's the way the gun is built to start with. So that lug there doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the gun. So if you hear anyone saying, oh, don't buy that because it's had a hard life because it's got too much play there, doesn't mean that at all. So think about when you're looking at that gun, these Lambers are one hell of a gun for the money. 
So the whole point of this film, it's just about showing you why you have a stiff gun when you first buy your gun and how much it loosens up. I hope you've enjoyed that program. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.